Welcome to this episode of Innovative Success, giving you the team leverage your business needs with founder and president of Innovative Success, Renee Belbeck. As a small business owner, you know the importance of social media, but probably feel that you don't have the time to do it. Today we have Megan Corwin, who will show you how you can effectively manage your internet presence. Welcome, Megan. Thank you. I'm aware of how important an online presence is for a small business, but I already have a really long list of to-do items. How do I fit social media into my schedule? With all the buzz about Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, it can be really overwhelming. So what I'd like to recommend for clients is to pick one or two social networks and really get a good sense of what you're doing there. One great tip is to research where your target market is online. For example, if you're selling your products to women who are in their 30s, Pinterest would be a great place for you to be. And if you're in doubt at all, Facebook and Twitter are great places to start. Okay, now, I don't know what to post, so where do I find valuable content for my audience? Sure. Well, first of all, you should be creating um, posts for your website or blog, and that's definitely something that you want to share with your audience. Um, in addition, there are aggregator sites that you can use. Um, ones I like are Feedly.com and Alltop.com. Those sites um, gather all sorts of relevant information to your business topic and will provide some links for you to use. Those are great. What should my post include? Sure. Well, on social media, engagement is really key. So one way to get your audience engaged is to ask a question. Another thing that's really good is to ask them to retweet or like your post. Don't be afraid to ask them to do it. Most likely they will. What if I don't have time to post every day? One great tip is to sit down and do all your posts at one time so that you're bunching your work together. So um, one thing I like to do is to write out all my posts for the week. Then you can use a scheduling software like Hootsuite.com that will allow you to schedule all those posts in advance. One of the great things about a tool like Hootsuite is that often it will optimize your posting time based on when your target market is online. Okay. So once I've scheduled my post, what's next? Well, you definitely want to be sure to check in with your um, social profiles at least once a day to make sure there aren't any customer service issues or complaints. And then also, if you're using a tool like Hootsuite, there are often um, built-in reports that you want to check on and make sure that your network is growing and thriving. Thanks, Megan, for being on our show. Sure. If you need help with social media, feel free to contact us at www.innovative-success.com and we'll help you tweet and post. Thank you for watching this episode of Innovative Success with Renee Belbeck. For more great information, visit her website at innovative-success.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Columbus Biz TV Shows.